Hi, it's Bly Stevens, recording from the beautiful Tanschul Tanzraum Nippes studio in Cologne, Germany. I'll be using music by Meguni Kopp from my home studio of West Hawaii Dance Theater in Kailua Kona, Hawaii. So today I've been sharing, or I've been recording a number of videos around the Ben Greenfield mini workout, sort of a 10 minute micro workout to help build overall strength. So I've been practicing this as a complement to my ballet training and I think it's a great idea for in between ballet classes or before attending a ballet class or while we're trapped at home right now to build your overall strength, maintain your endurance so that when you come back or you join a class again, you will be ready for that. So this last exercise in that sequence of push-ups, triceps dips, lunges, and squats is jumping jacks. So here, rather than just 15 repetitions, we will have 50 jumping jacks as a set. And then in his recommendation, we'll do the whole round of exercises three times for making a total of about 10 minutes. However, I recommend in order to get the most benefit out of these exercises and build your strength and endurance that you find a version or a modification that is good for you, that you enjoy, that you find challenging and motivating, but comfortable enough where you can see yourself practicing it daily or maybe a few times a week. So. I'll share a few different versions of jumping jacks so you can find the one that you like and that you can complete 50 times, maybe two sets of 25 is my preference, and then doing a rotation, maybe starting with jumping jacks, then push-ups, then tricep dips, then another 25 jumping jacks, jacks lunges, and then squats. Um, but really you can mix it up however you like. The point is to find something that you enjoy and that is yours and that you can own and practice regularly. So here are some variations of jumping jacks. The first is for people who maybe have a lower leg injury, an ankle problem, again, before practicing any of these exercises please consult with your healthcare professional, your general care doctor, your physical therapist, anyone like that. Um, but if jumping is not appropriate for you, or maybe you don't have space in your home to reach your hands above your head while jumping, or you just prefer a less impact, a lower impact version, the first version of jumping jacks that we'll do is on the floor. So it looks like this. We will lie sideways onto the floor, and find a comfortable shape. Maybe propping the head up here, maybe lying it down, and we'll have the hand in front like a kickstand. And now rather than jumping, we will simply open and close the legs like a leg kick to the side. Feel my muscles in the center stabilizing me, which is great. Five, four, three, two, one. Then, to add difficulty to that, make it more fun, challenging, you can also lower the leg to the front and the back, and the front and the back. Maybe alternating front, back, front, back, and center. Like this, and then if you really gotta get want to get wild, you can actually perform a whole side lying jumping jack on the floor. Ooh, lots of work on the outer thigh, and inner thigh, in the core, and then also the arms. So that's a great entry level jumping jack option. Option number two of endless possibilities is to take your jumping jack standing up, but again, not jump if it's not appropriate to you. So here, we'll open and close the legs, kind of like our squat to the side, but alternating like this, shifting the weight. Or possibly not shifting the weight. Three and four. If you do enough of the, any of these variations, you 
will get a very good workout. Then finally, the full jumping jack. Again, if you don't have the same ceiling clearance that I do right now, you might want to not raise the arms quite as high, especially if you're jumping. And just swinging them to 90 degrees and down, which is also a wonderful variation, or the full X shape and return. So, you can also put any of these into combination. Try some on the floor. Try some toe taps to the side. Try a few jumps, mix it up, and that way you can get to your 25, get to your 50, or get to your three rounds of 50, whatever's appropriate for you. Of course, there's endless more challenging variations where we would move in space, pick up the knees higher, all kinds of exciting things like that. So if you'd like to see some more challenging variations like that, I'm happy to share them. Tell me in the comments below. Okay, I'll do all of the standing variations. And then eventually, maybe, although it's fine if we never get there, any variation is great, we would do two sets of 25 full jumping jacks or one set of 50 per round and then three rounds all together. But we're working up to that. So here's the full version with music. jacks or perhaps this entire exercise sequence for before or in between ballet or as part of your overall fitness regimen again like subscribe and comment below if you can thanks so much see you next time